Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we in America, we in America, we in America. So some of this food should actually be really good, but it's gonna be at a robbery price, I'm already knowing. Just looking at those palm trees in the background, and I know America, so it's gonna be extremely overpriced, and it's probably gonna be half ass, but we're gonna see. <laughs> Today I am testing celebrity restaurants. Now, it's gonna taste good. Tell, That's one thing. I am here in Miami, one of the hottest places to be if you're a celebrity. So let's go try and see if any of these guys are better than whatever the it, hell we had. Got a restaurant? I'm transporting myself to the city of Miami, and I can't quite believe that we are getting U.S. celebrity restaurants before GTA 6. All right, so nah, we're boy, here. G film be cooking with the B-roll, baby. Our first place we're stopping off, Miami Grill. This is. None other than Mr. Worldwide and Bloody Pitbull's gaff. I can't believe it. Anyways, I don't know about you, but the outside, I'm not that optimistic. Let's see what Pitbull... Why does this look exactly like a Taco Bell? I'd be so confused. And how come restaurants never power wash? Like, I feel like we gotta start holding places to standards, dog. Like, let, let's, let's get some shit cleaned up around here, dog. People can cook up. Mr. Worldwide, it's time to set it off. Let's ride. This is literally a Taco Bell. Look, we've arrived here. This is Pitbull's Gaff. Now, it used to be called, I think it was called like Miami Subs, something like that, and it's rebranded. Pitbull jumped in, invested, and now they've called it Miami Grill. The menu's a bit all over the place. Like, there's just, you, there's no like set cuisine. It's just a bit of everything. But the one thing you are supposed to get here is a Philly cheesesteak. It was only like Ooh. $7. That's pretty, pretty Damn. amazing. G-Film behind the camera, he just got a chicken sandwich for $10. That makes sense. But because it's probably it's probably not a, a fried chicken sandwich, it's probably a baked chicken. But regardless or not, seven dollars for a Philly? That's pretty good. I wonder what the size is gonna be. Crazy right now. The vibe inside. It better not be a six inch with fries. I'm gonna be pissed. Miami experience here, except for the fact that they do genuinely sell every cuisine under the sun. I've seen a lava cake behind you. Burger that looks like something like a Burger King. The cheesesteak. I'm excited to have a cheesesteak in the UK. There's no such thing as a cheesesteak. You don't get that in the UK. It's a six inch in fries. <sighs> That's fucking robbery. 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 Seven dollars though. I mean, you kind of can't, man. Yeah, you can't really complain about that. Amazing. Thank you very much. This right here is the Philly cheesesteak. I don't know if I've ever had one before, but cheese, Never onions, had a Philly, bro? Good. That's like yeah, a I'm staple, sure it's dog. Steak, but good. Come on. Out. I bet it hits. It looks like a lot of bread, though. Ooh, hot. Oh, so hot, and it's not man. dripping. Man, it? Oh. Really nice. The next thing I wanted to try. It's supposed to be dripping, bro. Was the chicken burger? Get a look at this. Here we are. Pretty standard. Wow, this is really good. Well, you're rating it. If you want me to give a food rating right now, I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's like an eight. I'm genuinely really impressed for the amount of money. You hate food that drips? Oh, dude, it's something about when, like, oh, excuse me, when you get a Philly cheesesteak and you, like, squeeze it together and, like, the juices from the steak are, like, coming out of the bottom of the sub. Oh. Oh, God, I can make this. I can come right mind. now. No, at the end of the day, this is pretty much a fast food place. The quality of food is class. The chips are crispy, unreal. This, good. I'm so surprised that when you see the outside and even the inside, it looks a bit dog lore. You know, let's not fuck around. It Why did they make it a Taco in Bell? Come in, invested. Like, if they made this like an actual restaurant, put like a little more Pitbull flair to it, this could be cool. But the fact that it looks like a, I don't know, dude. Ah, like a Taco Bell or even one of those, uh, what's that place that you get the smoothies from? Like a tropical smoothie or something? his money oh, and man. said let me sort this fucking shit out and it is actually well impressive so pitbull mr the Worldwide, fries look good mr cuisine mr good fucking scran he's up right now considering this is the first place we've come to this is setting the standard for miami all the way up here already i just my thing about restaurants like this bro like i'm even over here right like i'm looking at the cut 
the cup don't match the branding. So that means this is a cheap ass fucking non like exclusive ass cup. So if if this don't come with the like if they charge you for a drink and then you get that, that's crazy. I feel like it, even when you go to like a pizza place and the pizza box isn't branded, it's just one of those like like if you ever been to New York and get a pizza, like it's like, okay, if I'm getting dollar pizza, I'm not expecting for you to have a dollar pizza pizza box. That's crazy. Like the overhead, you're losing money. But if I'm spending fifteen, twenty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine on a large on a pizza, that shit better be branded, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm well impressed. All right, there it is. Pitbull, I can't lie, has pulled off a masterclass. They Seven even gave 10. us a couple of free cookies on the way out. Now, that might be because they saw the camera. I don't know. Either way, I was well impressed with that. So, as you guys know, I give an eight for the food. Genuinely, was so impressed. Then, the next thing is the service. That lady, whoever that is, please give her a raise, whatever. She was so lovely. Awesome. I'm giving Aww. that a 9.5 service. And that's Finally, different, bro, because in Miami, price, people are assholes. I don't know what to say. Like, it was pretty cheap. Like, it's a, probably like a nine, an 8.5 out of 10. Nine? Wait, I can't believe this. This bad. might be the highest rated thing that we've done with these celebrity ones. How was Pitbull winning like this? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to head on to the next one. Let's get after it. Come on, Miami. Now, it was almost impossible win, to win, ignore win. the fact that you guys hated my scoring system on the last video I did like this. So instead, today, we're going to add everything up so it's out of 30. Scores on the doors for Miami Grill. I like Food, that. 8 out of 10. Service, 9.5 out of 10. And the price, 9 out of 10. Giving us a grand total of 26.5. See, but I feel like that's a high ass score, bro. That's a high ass score for that restaurant. If you're gonna add them all up, you might have to go lower. Like the food, the food, if we're gonna be really critical about it, the bun was a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then they only gave my nigga half the sandwich. Like you had to cut, you had to cut a baguette to get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, give me the whole foot long. So I'm like, I right, bet. Boom. 6.5 that's what i'm thinking and when you got the chicken sandwich like if like why the fuck did that shit have the whole the whole lettuce tree on it you know what i'm saying like that's crazy like he had the whole ball of lettuce on it that's it that, that that's insane so like yeah you can't do that bro and then service you got to give that fire because they brought it to the table you know what i'm saying that was nice now did they come back and give a free refill i don't know so boom off tops they gave the standard of what they were supposed to give seven. It didn't go above a six or a seven. You know what I'm saying? Price seven dollars for a six inch and some fries. Mm. I just I, I'll never get over five dollar foot long, bro. I can get a five dollar Philly cheesesteak foot long right now. And actually, no, you can't because I think they're like eight dollars now. But yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. That price is a little crazy. Out of 30. I hope you guys are happy. You guys want a clue for the next spot? It's hey. like I want to say that the, the price is crazy, but I, I don't have no real reasons on why. You know what I'm saying? DJ Khaled. Yeah. The next Snipes. place I'm stopping at is actually our good friend DJ Khaled. Now, he has given his attempt at a restaurant, and he's called it The Licking. Bit of an interesting name, that. I'm hoping that right now like you can hear some licking? music and then like this. You're not gonna hear any more music. I've turned it off with my mind. I'm ready, let's see what DJ Khaled, I'll be honest with you, How did they the do that? Of the, the last few years, but who knows, maybe this food's gonna bring him back. There is so many different things on here. There's lobster, shrimp. I've never seen cuisine like this. What conch? Conch, she, she called it conch. Oh, damn! Like, the hose is holing in this motherfucker. Damn, DJ Khaled, what do you get all these hoses from? Conch. Conch. She, she called it conk. Can I get some fried conk? So I'm going to Google that right now and see what I've just ordered. God. So it is a deep fried fish from the Bahamas. Right. Another this one? This is Another on the menu one? is called the famous mystery drink. Now tell me this doesn't look like it's going to give you cancer. There's no way this gets sold in the UK. <sighs> Oh, it's actually pretty Diana, I won't lie. Exactly. Oh, there's no way that gets served in the UK, dude. God, I hate the UK. I don't know. Damn, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Let me tell you one thing it does have. It has everything. God, 
God, where them thighs coming from? Every toxic ingredient in the world is in here. This is what it looks like before. And Adobe Premiere yeah, must have added like an like isolation like a thing or something. I'll be honest with you, the rate of this thing, I'm, I'm giving this a, a 7.5. It's actually pretty good. Ah, oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, wow, Ooh. look at this thing. Everything is fried. I, I told you the American, it is supposed to be a fucking appetizer. Look at that. Dang it. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of, that, that is crazy. That, those servings are fucking wild. Like, I ain't never, usually they give you that small ass basket with like seven rings in it. Maybe that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty fucking serving right there. But I hate that limit wedge. You know what I'm saying? That limit wedge. It's like, come on, bro. Cause now, the reason why they set it on there, that means there's going to be like two to three onion rings and fritters that are just soaked in lemon. Like, come on, bro. Put it on the side. Size of me, man. I've got no chance. By the way, this is hot. The reviews online of this place are dog water, but it kind of looks good. Here we go. Of course, yeah, it's because of the, it's because of the hose in there. Oh, banging. That's why. The IG is banging, yeah. I bet they be getting so attitude when shit get fast. I don't know what sauce this is, but it's fucking unreal. The food oh is my hot. God. The fried stuff is actually crispy and fresh. Man, this is good. I don't know what the reviews were on about. Some day old? Go. Damn. The chicken's a bit dry, but the actual like fried bit is really good. Let me try this sauce. Oh. Uh, too oily. Oh. Uh, that is just all oil. So let me try some more of the Kong. Ah, uh, I hate that. Kong. <laughs> Kong. That's what they call it, bro. Fried Kong. Damn, he actually, he actually is actually this was considered into that. like a meal. This is like one of the many things you're supposed to get. I just, I can, my brain doesn't comprehend American portions. I nah, bro, because when Americans go out to eat, we not getting that. Like, only time I'm ordering that is if I'm with a bunch of people. I'm not getting an appetizer, a meal, and dessert all at the same rate. That's not happening. We're not doing that. On the ride home, I might pick up an ice cream. You know what I'm saying? But nah, come on, gang. What are we doing? You don't go to a plate like the restaurants like this are not meant to go and get a whole meal from like it might be something here that I like. They might have like a crazy like a crazy like shrimp and fish platter that I'm like, ooh, shrimp, fish and fries in like a basket. And I'll go and pick that shit up every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to go there, get the shrimp, friend, the shrimp, uh, fish in the basket and also get a onion ring appetizer and some fritters. Like, come on, that's crazy. Nobody's doing that. Cool. It's time to do the ratings. We got food. I'm giving it a 7.5. It was good. Service, I'll give it a 9. Everybody here was lovely. Everyone was checking up on us. Great Thick people. Thick as hell, like, too. Like you know what I'm saying? That's pretty normal. And for the price, it cost me $93. It's not. It really isn't. Now. I'll be honest with you. I don't really know US price. I think I got two drinks and two appetizers for $93? What the f what? That's why they pissed. That's why the reviews are pissed. Because what the fuck? Wait a second here, buddy. Listen to well. I know London inside out. But for me. Oh, no. He got two appetizers and an entree. Two appetizers. Nah, bro. That should have easily came out to like $35, $45. He said like $96 or something. Feeling a little bit fat after all that fried chicken. It's no, no wonder there's an obesity problem here, but I'm, I feel it already. I see it in My his eyes. Hurting. All right, so that was DJ Khaled's spot. And I'll be honest with you, it was actually okay. Like, it didn't blow me away. The food wasn't amazing. Um, the people were lovely there though. Everyone was super friendly. The vibes were good. The music they were playing, which I had to AI out. Sorry about that, guys. No complaints. Oh, so that's Pretty what it is. It's like some back. type of like, I bet that's like a Probably new Adobe uh, feature. Vibe, DJ Carlos, I only use Final Cut Pro, bro. I'm giving the food 7.5 out of 10. The service, 9 out of 10. And the price, 6 out of 10. Giving us a total score of 22.5 out of 30. So I know there's quite a few people watching that are looking to start up. A I just feel like I can't tell you that something is dry and give it a 7. You know what I'm saying? Like, a 7 is like... How would, I, how would I like preface a seven? A seven is like, 
a seven is like everything's decent. Everything is decent and edible. There's like nothing that I can really nitpick on, but it's just not a 10. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would put it as a seven. It's like, it's made pretty well. It's not, it's like, but it, it, it matches too close to like, ah, this is just anything. Like you can, you can get this shit from anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's no specialty in the restaurant that they were, they are the only people that can make it this good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm, I think that's what I'm giving a seven. If something is dry, like the chicken ain't dry or I got to add something to it for it to be good. Nigga, that shit got to be given like a five or a four for business and maybe don't have loads of money or even necessarily loads of time. That's because so we black. Next Drive chicken is a destination. Now, if you're DJ Facts. Khaled or anybody else and you're watching this, then make sure you check out Odoo. So what they're going to do is they're going to help you with all your needs related to your business. You might be wondering what exactly is Odoo? Well, it's an all-in-one management system which helps manage your whole business. Odoo Ooh. are giving you unlimited hosting and support, which is absolutely key. And with your first app being free, free for life. And of course, you can add apps later down the line when you need them. There's four main steps to creating your website and they're each like easy and quick. All right, so right here, you just select. My favorite thing about this is just how quick and easy it is to set up your entire business on Odoo. It's that easy and it's quick and reasonably priced. The AI bit right here, you just type in a bit of text and it's gonna help you pop out something much better than what I'm able to produce. Odoo, in fact, offers you a free domain name which you can change oh, right here. Free Super domain. Handy, and it's completely free for a year. So if you're looking to create this type of thing and for your business, then make sure you check out the link in the description. In, it's got everything you need to know. I would highly recommend it, guys. This is an absolute game changer. We've turned up here at the Swan, Pharrell's restaurant, and they wouldn't let us film the, the front Swan. for whatever reason. So let's head inside. Right, so nah, this place, they just it's leveled not up. ridiculously expensive. I have no idea what type of cuisine this is. This is like all European cuisine just smashed into one. I would say of all the celebrity restaurants interiors and design, this, this is by beautiful. far feels the best or the most premium at least. This is true like Miami living, but my wallet's gonna pay the price, I know it. What's interesting is it's not very busy at the moment, but I have a feeling it's gonna start getting busy soon. It is 8 p.m. though, and you would have thought this is like prime time, so. Eight PM in Miami? Quiet. I think every Nah. He don't know. You got it. uh actually no, nah, that's a pretty good eat time. That's a pretty good eat time. I was gonna say more about like the way this restaurant looks, probably about like nine, ten, it might look lit type shit. But I would think the way that this is it 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 doesn't look like it has like a stage or nothing. It looks more chill. Like a chill little vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eight o'clock and it being that empty is crazy. Everybody with half a brain cell has decided to sit inside. Yeah, I'd like a refreshing. Oh, okay, okay. So a lot of people could be sitting out at the terrace area, but when they were doing the little thing, it's like the only people that were there were the ones around the bar for real. cocktail. Just anything that is refreshing. Damn. One thing I know is about these My American man. places. They always have music on. I haven't been into a place where there hasn't been music playing and that just elevates the vibe. You know what? If I, if I was Pharrell though, I'd just have my own tunes on repeat. And I'm happy. Oh, well, right, that's even even if it's time, just that, that's right or, here, I would argue that's half or a Or like people that he respected, you know? Just Rather than just jazz? Tunes, you know? I don't know. You gotta you got give me a bit more juice in that. Packed out by nine? <sighs> okay. Fucking hell. Oh, that's the American syrup, man. They are, they do not mess around. Everything is like 10X. It makes, no wonder Americans come to the UK and go, there's no fucking flavor. I can't taste any of these. Cause here it's like, it's you in the jaw. Spare out that or the, the misty drink. I prefer the mystery drink to this, mate. This is, this is, this is spinning me. Thank you very much. Mate. I'm not gonna lie, it looked like a lot of that was piled is at the bottom. Is it small enough to be like a star? Yeah. yeah. Like America, bro. What is what going on? What the fuck? I think that's a lot. Nah, they're wilding. That's not a starter. That's now. Maybe she meant. Maybe when he did this, he meant like for the table. Like for for the table, that's a starter. But nigga, that's a whole chicken breast. Like that's a it, <laughs> nah. This is a star. Don't get me wrong. This looks unbelievable. It looks so good. But fuck me. 
Like this is this is. I'm not gonna figure out how you eat it. Like, is that lettuce? Like, I don't know what's happening. Uh, like a main course that I wouldn't be able to finish. Here we go. Let me tuck into my starter. Like, what is this, man? What even oh. is that? No, there is nothing healthy about this salad. This is packed. Oh man, that's taking my eyeballs out. That is. I don't know. No, that was a fire. Everything edit. is just so strong. Like the flavors are so strong. And I don't know if it's a good thing or it's just overkill, but it's all starting to add up as to why Americans say when they come to the UK or they go to Europe, the food is bland. Does he? It's because you guys don't use any seasoning, like at all. Like niggas will be like, oh, did you season it? Yeah, I put salt and garlic on it. Like, what? <sighs> I get it, bro. Stuff doesn't have to be like overpowering, man, but at least let it taste like something, bro. Like I shouldn't be biting into fish and it tastes like water. That's crazy. Or fucking biting into some fucking chicken and it yeah. tastes like water. Like, Everything nah, is on bro. steroids. Even when I ordered the, the, the salad, she goes, do you want any protein with that? Like, could you imagine that being asked back at home or anywhere in Europe? Do you want protein with that? The portion size is I'm so scared to go to Europe. I can't wrap my head around it, man. I know I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a sun guy. I understand I need to eat more, but this, this is, this is a different beast, man. If you're from the US, please let me know in the comments. Are you not actually finishing something like this as a star? It's no, no, no one is. No. Fuck. Oh God. In America, starters are shareables, dog. No one's fucking eating that. Like, if I go to a restaurant, like, a starter at, like, especially, like, a restaurant like Bonefish or something, right? A starter is, like, bang, bang shrimp. It's, like, six pieces of shrimp. It's, like, six pieces of shrimp on a bed of lettuce. Nigga, that's a fucking starter. This, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was, like, 12 pieces of chicken, a whole fucking head of lettuce. Like, nigga, that, that was a lot. Seems mental. Thank no, you, you don't, much. Mark. Oh, no, you don't. Medium salmon. Oh, boil them. It has just come with like a bunch of crispy leaves. Literally just crispy sprouts. The salmon's lovely though. To anybody that's had black cod, it's literally the exact same, but instead of cod, it's salmon. So far, <laughs> I can't help but feel a little bit let down. And it's not bad food. It's not fucking neat burger. It's fucking disgusting. Right? Let me tell you that, that was an experience. But if you walk into a restaurant like this, bro, you're expecting to be blown away. I feel you. But it's just for the vibe that we got in being told we camped on the entrance and just the vibe I got, I was I thought I was in for like a, a, a special meal and I've not quite had that yet. Yeah. Any anytime restaurants spend that much time on other things, the food is always ass. I <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's never fair just to judge a place on one meal, so I'm gonna have a bit of the chicken that cameraman G film ordered. One what the fuck? That's chicken? What are they like? Like smush it down on the grill? Like on what is meal, that? So I'm gonna have a bit of the chicken that cameraman G film ordered. One bite, one bite. Oh, oh. it's okay. It's okay. Why am I writing home about it? Probably not. Pharrell, look, I think you've done a good job here. You've got a beautiful restaurant with good food. Is it a bit overpriced? Definitely. Are the people lovely? Definitely. Is the security guy a bit of a bell end for not letting us film the entrance? Kind of, but. That's I how it is in America, it's bro. To be bougie. That's they fine. like they like I'm to a, feel like it's exclusivity with no pictures being damaged. taken. See how much my money for I was taking off me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This is what's insane about the US, right? So the actual meal costs two hundred and twenty-four dollars. They then have an eighteen percent service. Nah. Service charge. And then they have the tax. So the total is not $224, it's $283. Now, you would assume, right, okay, they've charged you 18% service charge. That is the tip. No. In the US, they have a culture of tipping. Now, I despise the tipping culture here. I fucking and the hate tip it. It's usually pretty generous. I just think that. I, I fucking hate it. I hate it. What I don't understand is why people from other countries, like, come here and then they act like they don't have tax. 
Like that shit like blows me away. Like I'll never understand it because it in America, it's just not all. It's just not all tallied in to every other item. You understand what I'm saying? Overseas, the tax is just put into every other item, so you're paying exactly what. So like if it says nine dollars on the shelf, it's nine dollars. But in America, it's like oh these guys want it priced for seven dollars, but when you come over here to the register, we're gonna get our tax because we gotta pay. For the fucking chart for the machine to get processed, you know what I'm saying? We gotta pay for all this extra bullshit, so they charge you the tax. Makes sense. So the fact that niggas come over here, they're like, "Oh God, you gotta pay. We gotta pay extra tax. Like this is crazy." No, you just don't see it over there. It, it, you're paying the same thing over here. I completely get why people complain about the, tip, the tipping culture in the U.S., but I do not. The tipping culture sucks. It sucks ass because people people won't even really work like they're supposed to work and then they expect a big tip just because i like if i order a lot of shit and you serve me terribly just because my bill's five hundred dollars nigga you're not getting two hundred dollars you know what i'm saying that's crazy that's insane for you to think that that is even a, a, a close to being a thing like if my drink like touched ice bitch better take this penny and start learning to do your goddamn job you horrible ass server I don't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? And she doesn't even know the menu. You looked at two people and gave that ordered all that. Like if I come to a restaurant, I ask you, is this enough? Is this like a, a decent size portion for like, you know what I'm saying? Could I consider this a starter? And they say, yeah. And then they bring me back a shareable item for multiple people. That's insane. Come on, lady. Right. People that don't tip. Let's get out of here. No, all right, fuck so all right. that was, I'm a, that was a decent meal, quite expensive. I'm a great tipper said. if you're a good Not worker. Bad food. Just but because I, I worked know. in the service industry, I, I don't respect that shit. I hate people who think they're entitled to shit. Like, nah, nigga, this is my money. Did you make this a good experience? Nothing. I barely saw you. Like, now if I go to a restaurant with the homies and we're having great conversation, don't come over bothering me. Just tap me on my shoulder, fill my glass, do what you got to do. But don't interrupt my conversation. So if I barely see you, but my drinks are always filled, my shit's coming out on time, my food's not cold, we good. Hi, just because of like the vibe. I'm gonna bless you. Are. There's all these high-end shops everywhere. I just thought the food might replicate that. Right, let's talk. Food. I'm giving the food 6.5. Kind of brutal. Service, 9.5. Everyone there was lovely. The vibes were tremendous. And even the inside, I'm actually, the interior, I'm giving a nine as well. Unreal, really good. Yeah, overall, a strong performance. I just kind of wish the food was a little bit better. But maybe I'm still too. getting used to the US way of things. No, that well, shows ass. I feel swan. you. Because if I don't go somewhere and just get like, like if you don't eat, someone just go, oh. And then I get a bill that says $200, I'm pissed. Like, what am I paying $200 for? Now, the food, 6.5 out of 10. The service, 9.5 out of 10. And embarrassingly... Like, you can't even rate the service a 9.5 out of 10. Because how the fuck do you rate the service a 9.5 out of 10 when niggas was literally bit, like... <laughs> oh... <sighs> Oh, I don't know. I don't in know. In this video, for know. some reason, I decided to give a rating on interior, which just wasn't one of the categories. So ignore that. Um, price, 5.5 out of 10, giving us a total of 21.5 out of 10. Like, I would have gave that shit. Whatever so the hell it. equal oh, to 10 out of 20, that shit is selected. ass. 5 out of everything. This is your healthy Or 2.5 on, I don't know it's how the math works. If it's actually any good. Oh, that's Oprah now. So we're it's open. It's got to be fine. Free. Ultimately, it's supposed to be the healthy. king so colonizer I'm herself. To try something dog. just a little bit more healthy that will feel a little bit nicer in the stomach. Again, they they got music playing, but of course to avoid any sort of copyright. Why is it not? Work? There it is. I got it. Got rid of it just like that. So the whole concept That's around so this cool. is it's supposed to be healthy for you, hormone free, you know, future forward farming. It's like one of them sustainable gas. And whenever I, I, I think of that, I think a neat burger. And we all saw how that went last time. This yeah. is fucking disgusting. Right, look at this. But that this bun was kind of funny. Like, that it's not grilled salmon. It's grilled sustainable salmon. I, Okay, Oprah actually has was a house a free in Miami. Swimmer? So not only does she have a restaurant, but she also has a house here. They got to the Uber driver that gave me that. How do you have a house in like five different places and make a restaurant that's sustainability? <laughs> like...
That's what I be saying about people, bro. Everybody like picks and chooses their battles, and it fucking makes no sense to me. Like, <laughs> like the amount of people that have come up to me, bro, and talk about shit, and be like, "Oh man, I'm so pissed at this happening," but then they're like, they have an iPhone. Like, I'm like, you got an iPhone, or you wear Nikes. Like, <laughs> like, what are we doing, dude? I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't, like, if you're going to be mad at something, bro, don't pick one thing and heavily stress on it, because it's, it just makes no sense. You, if you're going to be mad at it, you got to be mad at everything, bro. Can't be mad at one thing. A little nugget of info that I can share with you, because it's just so important that we all know this stuff, you know? I have to admit, the inside of this gas feels nice, feels premium, it's clean. It feels like they're pumping like a special type of oxygen in here. Everything just feels a bit crispy. My expectations are high, which I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Sometimes what happens is a lot of these like, well, like super clean, like healthy food spots end up just being quite bland and boring. But yeah. I feel like in the US, they just won't let that happen. Thank you very much, appreciate it. It might be sustainable, Chad. It came out in bags and the biggest plate in history for the smallest thing. Like, what is happening? I ordered the chicken wrap. Oh, here we go. So it comes. Nah. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. It's not fresh either. It's not fresh. There ain't no way nobody missed somebody made that in the back. Ain't no way. They just got that shit out the refrigerator. Oh man. Then what looks to be like a healthy wrap, you know? That looks like the shit you pay for, you like when what? you go get your coffee. I'm really trying to keep in mind that it's supposed to be healthy, and so it's easy to go. Oh, they don't take. Nigga, first of all, what is that burger? Can we talk about that? That looks. Like, the flavors are okay. It is a little bit bland. I would have used a different wrap though. Oh, go ahead, go. He's trying to butter me up to give it a good review here. You know what? This feels just like a slightly better version of Pret. That's what this wrap tastes like. And a way more expensive version. Certainly more expensive version. More 17.75 for a chicken wrap. Oh my. That's illegal. Oh my God. The prep, yeah. Let's try a burger. Now, there is a lot. You can tell the bun is like one of them whole meal buns. There's a lot of that just burger stuff looks in this. crazy. Show it to me, bro. Okay. What the fuck? That's the only way I can describe it. Like, it's okay. If I was looking for a, a healthy burger, if that's Are those mushrooms? Are those like sauteed mushrooms? I don't know what that is. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, it's okay. If I was looking for a, he a healthy burger, if that's even a thing, then I don't mind this. But it's not light in my world of light. That's all good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah good. cheers. Look, you can't try to finesse me. Don't come over here and try to get the, the reviews up. All right, so for the food rating, I'm going to give this a six. And that might seem a little bit Maybe harsh, a but four, it's just that dude. this wasn't anything revolutionary. Like, how do you, like, oh, God, oh, God, dude, I just don't get, oh, well, you know what? I said I would give it a seven. If everything was edible and it worked out, I said that. I said that. I got to stick to it. Yeah, I, I get it. It's it. healthy uh, and naturally. I, that th I just think, on. I just think if you ain't even, you can't even dive into it, it got to be like a four. Like, if it's not something that I just get, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, we got to start arguing for how stuff can be rated over a five. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. We're being too nice to these fuckers, dog. You know, it's not Close gonna be this restaurant down. Maybe something unhealthy. What is that? It doesn't mean it has to be bland. And I kind of felt like it was a bit bland. And the, the wrap, the chicken wrap um, bread that they used on it, it was just really dry. And so, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to give it a sip. Sorry, Oprah. All right, so. Oh, my God. The then they make you walk out with that giant brown bag. Well, Oprah got seven houses. Come Sorry, on, bro. Right, Crazy. So, I gave the food. It's like a, a it's like one of those things where they like harsh doing that, you make something to like make people For believe service, that you're doing something. Mate, I don't know. I'm not it's mad lie. It is continuously impressed me. The U.S. is different. It's getting a nine, and then price again. I'm 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 gonna have to give it a six. Look, it was a good place. Would I go back there? Probably not. 
but the people there were lovely, as they are everywhere in the US. Oprah Winfrey's True Food Kitchen. The food, 6 out of 10. Service, 9 out of 10. And the price, 6 out ah. of 10. Total score of 21 out of 30. Gordon Ramsay. Oh! Uh, he's something new. This is big. This is big. Why do you get that big right, ass screen? Time to find out. Do you guys have a lot against me? What the fuck is happening? Oh, that's gotta be the AI. That's gotta be the AI chat. Just time to find out. Do you guys have a lot of against me? Against me? Oh, bro, we don't talk. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's always a nice start. Being reminded of the Euro final. <laughs> Not off to a great start, but that's okay. So the main thing Gordon Ramsay is known for, well, one of the things is the beef Wellington. So I've come here to Hell's Kitchen to this try shows this that out. When the going I'm gets not tough, too sure man. this is just going to be a bit the of a Brits gimmick place. The Brits back down. I'm really they used to be strong. We'll I don't see know what if happened. This is actually any good, yeah. Hi there. Oh, wonderful. Thanks. Ooh. You can always tell the difference between draft coke and bottled coke. This is draft coke, but I would argue when you're thirsty, a draft coke tastes better. I'll be honest with you. The interior. Nothing will ever beat a bottled coke. There's nothing in this fucking world that will be a bottle coke. I don't care what anybody says. Nothing, nothing in this world will be a bottle coke. Here is pretty sick, especially if you're a fan of the show. They've got like a red side and a blue side, sort of splitting up the place. Now there are reviews for this oh, place. Wow. They're, they aren't necessarily bad, but they're also not amazing either. They're pretty average. I'm not expecting anything mind blowing, but I certainly hope. No, that like if you go to a premier chef's restaurant bro i am expecting to leave there with like the taste of the food on my tongue like i'm expecting to leave there and be like man are you sure we can't go back like we need to go back and try some more food or something you know what i'm saying like i keep saying bay as if i would like go with a female or something that's crazy mm. uh one day chat one day that the price isn't way off because you're at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, you know? Perfect. Oh, it looks amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. This looks like a business. Yeah, look at this. The plate's warm. Damn. That's another thing. Restaurants that don't have warm plates is a red flag. How are you putting hot food on a cold plate? Facts, though. This. It looks really good. It's actually really good. And say the Wellington or the, the pastry around it maybe it could be a little less soggy but overall this is this is a good bunch hard to hard to criticize us i am pleasantly surprised slash impressed if there's one thing okay. that i've learned from being out here in the u.s is that as awful as the tip system might be it sure does breed some good service because everyone has been so lovely i haven't had a single bad thing to say and every time it's just I feel like that's so cat, bro. It just depends. He's getting lucky today. Being impressive. I am absolutely hoovering this up. Polish that off. The beef Wellington was good. It wasn't out of this world. And I certainly don't think I would necessarily call it like a, oh mate, if you're gonna have a beef Wellington, you've got to come to Hell's Kitchen for it. But it's good and it's nice and it's not a disappointment. And that's the main thing. All right. In terms of the price, All right. $84. It's not cheap, that's for sure. And they did give what? us the drinks on the house. Wait a second. Did this nigga only have the Wellington? So the only thing they got charged for was the so that that little that half of a beef Wellington was eighty dollars. House, so that might you know sometimes we get special treatment because of the camera, but overall good experience. And if you're a fan of the show, it's worth coming to check out. Other than that, if you're a bit of a foodie, you could probably give this one a miss. Oh, look at it, it's pretty banging to be fair. Fucking boily. Keep your food warm. This is why the plates were hot. All right, that one was good. Let me give my final ratings on that one. So I'm gonna give the food a 7.5 out of 10. Like I said, good service. I'm gonna give it a nine again. Shout out to Eden. I would say the only reason why you would ever go to this restaurant is if they were just doing one of those cool things with the uh like red versus blue or something i don't i like, it would be horrible any other time because why the fuck would i want to spend 80 dollars on some shit that was i right.
I believe his name was, Eden Eden. He was a legend. Then uh, last but not least was the price, and it was quite expensive. I'm gonna have to give the price a six. A six, I think. Look, to cap it all off, this place, America, it, they just seem to do it differently. I'll be honest with you, the service, I haven't had one bad interaction. No one even gave me a single bad look. The service was a clear winner over here in the US. The actual food, I have to say, they just seem to do it bigger and better over here as well. Um, there's definitely a few places. James Blunt, that pub is still up there. Top, top gaff. And then finally, the price. I still think, I don't think there was anything in this video that just like stood out. I think I'm, I, what was that restaurant, bro? There was one restaurant he went to a year ago. I was like, God, dang him. And it was like the mid tier one too. It was like a cheaper one. I think it was like the second or the third place that he went to. I can't remember. But regardless or not, I, I almost feel like there was a place there that stood out more. Oh, no, he probably just picked bad restaurants here. I don't know for real. I don't know. I'm a little confused because I got I left this with like, ugh. you know what I mean? Like, eh, we didn't we didn't really show up like I thought we would show up, bro. I'm probably going to have to give to the UK because there's some serious bumps here. Big Bad Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. The food, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. The service, 9 out of 10. And the price, 6 out of 10. A total score of 22.5 out of 30. So here's your final leaderboard for the US celebrity restaurants. Top in the chart is, of course, the amazing Miami Grill. I'll be honest. The fact that that shit is number one is insanity to me insane dude with you i am just as surprised as you guys are that pitbull's restaurant is at the top of this list but it was honestly class and in last place i have to admit it, it wasn't actually that bad it was oprah winfrey's true food kitchen with a god i want to try that burger i want to try that fucking burger, it, it wasn't actually that bad it was oprah I don't know why like it, it like doesn't look appetizing because of all the greens in a way like I wish it was like half of the greens because the fact that the portion of the greens is the same size as the meat the bun at the bottom and whatever else that is I'm guessing like some type of weird like onion sauce or something looks like there might be like some mushrooms in there I don't know like yeah we gotta fix that up we gotta do better Winfrey's true food kitchen with a score of 20 like, I think they picked that shit right off the plant for real won. Sorry, Oprah. Yeah. Shout out to that boy, man. You and G Film are fucking cooking, dog. Cooking. Keep cooking, gang. Keep cooking, man. And get my nigga G Film a raise, bro. I don't know what you're paying him, but if it's anything less, anything less than $150,000 a video, you got to get it together, cuz. Get it together.